Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys the new character that I've been playing, which is actually the Crit Arc Miner. Now, at first, I didn't really like the character, I'll be completely honest with you. I thought it was going to be another shit build. I was kind of going to stop playing by like level 75. But I actually made it to level 78. Uh, and so far, I'm actually really enjoying this character. So, I haven't actually even touched maps yet. Normally, I'd be in maps like way earlier, but there's a lot of kind of like theory crafting to be involved with this character. So, I'm pretty much going to be sitting in Dried Lake, probably to like level 80, um, while I flesh out a lot of the the meat and bones of the character so because i'm you know much over leveled i'm gonna remove the um six well fifth and sixth link while i clear a dried lake for you guys and i'm just gonna show you guys with a four link arc so we've got increased critical strikes remote mine minefield arc uh other things to note here's a five chaos one that i have that i bought um a shield i spent about 120 chaos on but that's for the es mainly same thing, the regalia is just energy shield. I'm using an Ascent from Flesh, Rainbow Strides, the reason why is they have the 8% penetration, if you haven't killed recently, some gloves and nothing really too crazy. And here's just a little glance at the skill tree and I'll explain more in some future character content. So I still have like Unnatural Calm to pick up, Heart of Thunder I can pick up, Power Charge, Jewel Slots, Jewels are like super damage as well. Uh, and then this just has, is this Normal Lab? Cruel Lab, normal and cruel, normal, cruel and merciless. Okay, I also need to run Wrath, but I don't have Wrath set up in my uh, in my shit yet because of mana issues. So right now we're just running Discipline and Clarity, and let the fun begin. Now again, this is with a 4-link, uh, this is not with a 6-link or anything, so that's one thing to take note of. Obviously with a 6-link, this would be much stronger, um, and if you put it in a skin of the Loyal, it would be significantly stronger as well. So that's one thing to take note of. I would say the biggest issues with Arc is being able to overcome the single target. So if you can manage to overcome the single target, you can probably make the skill work out pretty well. And by just scaling enough raw damage, you should be able to uh, to bypass the damage issue. And let's see, we'll see this here in a minute and see. All right, so here's Bull. There's no targets. Let's go ahead and do it. So that was with a four link. If it was with a six link, it'd be like three times faster. I could pretty much just like insta give him on the go. Now this is also with a level 19 arc, so that's part of the reason why I'm running a 4 link. This isn't a 20 arc or a 21 or anything. Uh, 20 would be another bounce, so the other bounce would be pretty cool. But let me go ahead and just drop these back in. Bam. Now, the, I guess, future progress of this character, I want to go ahead and drop the Mana Flask. Uh, I am running Vault Clarity, which Vault Clarity is basically for, like, the big single target deeps. Whenever you want to just, like, start going crazy, you chuck down a, a totem, and then you pretty much just, um, just start spamming them and then the totem will just shit them out and then you're good to go from that. And all you have to do for a totem setup is just detonate mines, faster casting spell totem. You do want to get a quality detonate mines because it's significantly faster cast rate. But it's not really too much of an issue. Mainly for leveling, uh, it's pretty nice. But I would say the number one factor is like breaches and bosses really. Other than that, you don't really have much to worry about. So I'm just going to do another quick run really fast and then I'm going to guide you guys a little bit with the skill tree if you guys want to go ahead and just jump in and start playing the character now. So to get your character to something like this, I would say the required items would definitely be uh, number one, at level 69 you can get a arc has three additional change on a hubris. Three additional change is pretty substantial for this build. This is the best helmet chat you can get by far. Um, and then what comes next is pretty much just getting a tabula rasa uh, and you're pretty much good to go. You could get so much more damage as well if you swapped in instead of like an Eye of Chayula, you could use like a crazy crit amulet, you could use, what is it, Marlene's Fallacy or whatever, there's a bunch of different options as well that you can use. You could also opt out and go like Assassin or something else. I personally would recommend uh, Sevator, Sevatois, whatever the fuck it's called. Originally I was going to play Assassin and then I realized that you would just get so much quality of life, you get mine laying speed, you get arming speed, and that's the only way to get arming speed. And it's just overall really not that bad 
For traps, I don't really like it. For mines, I think they're pretty solid. Where's this dude at? Where's Mr. Senpai at? Here he is. So that would be like one set on him, for example. Now, defenses on this character are not really going to be impeccable. We're probably not going to get more than like 12 to 13k energy shield, which actually seems like pretty decent. So the way we're going to stay alive on this character is our goal would be to use a Baited Breath. Baited Breath is like a one chaos belt that gives pretty decent ES. Uh, it also gives 10% increased damage, but it has like 50% energy shield recharge recovery, which is really good for Vault Discipline, which is how we're going to run this character. We're basically going to have two Vault Disciplines and we're just going to rotate them whenever we're doing things like breaches or bosses. Uh, just for general map clearing, we shouldn't really, you know, need much sustain. We'll just, you know, stand back whenever something scary comes. Uh, but for the most part, we can off-screen most things as well because of, like, how far we can... Like, basically, if I put my mines down here, I could hit a target over here, and then that target will kill mobs all the way up to here, which is pretty cool. As for the shattering, that just comes from the added cold on my wand as well. It's a pretty nice addition. I wouldn't say it's required. Definitely nice though to counteract like dead and a dead and stuff like that off just like regular mobs and white mobs and whatnot. So to go over the rest of the stuff in my gear, I've got an arc uh, with clarity supported by arc and arc, along with arc supported with arc linked with arc, uh, with some discipline, flame dash, faster casting, wrath. Wrath still isn't run yet. I can try to do some stuff with enlighten, but I think the damage is good as of right now. And then the other the other important uh, setup would be like Vault Clarity, Vault Discipline, uh, Increase Duration, Smoke Mine. Smoke Mine just adds like 30% movement speed, which is pretty nice. And then I would say, as for the tree, you're going to start off uh, and just go like, you know, Trickery, grab some life if you're playing a life base. Well, you'll be leveling his life, so grab like Blood Siphon, move across, Nullification. You can start trapping like immediately, just start using your remote mines. Obviously, you're going to get fucked on mana, so try using, like, some Praxis rings. Praxis really helped me a lot when I was leveling this character. If you guys want to see exactly what it's called, it should be... Or maybe I don't have them here. I forgot. It's these rings that give, like, really good mana regen and whatnot. And you can easily just use, like, um... You can either use Life Sprigs to start off and then go into Oxiums and then go into Tull Tullborns. That's up to you. Uh, they're all really good to be honest, but as for the tree, it's pretty self-explanatory. You pretty much just follow it uh, to a T, just keep on going across, uh, you know, grab your volatile mines, get doom cast, written in blood, move across, clever construction, high explosives. Uh, I'm playing around with these nodes too, uh, well, right here, the trap trigger area and mine detonation radius, because basically what it means is it's not, don't think of it like area of effect, think of it like if you place a trap down and you detonate it, it has an area, and if a monster is within proximity, the skill will shoot towards it. And since arc is like instant, it basically can hit stuff almost off screen, which is like beautiful. Then move across, uh, come down here, grab your destructive apparatus for more laying speed. I picked up Dreamer, and I'm also going to pick up uh, Deep Thoughts to see, hopefully I don't have to run a Mana Flask later on. Um, after picking up that, just come in through here, and you can pretty much see the rest of it. Also, you can just run Discipline when leveling. You don't really have to run Clarity at the beginning. Uh, another really big thing is Adziri's Foible will help so much with your mana, like, mana sustain. It'll pretty much, like, carry you throughout up until, God knows, until you get actual gear. So starting from level 16, put this shit on immediately. It makes a huge difference when running Clarity. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be it for now. I'll give you guys some more updated content as I play through the character. Uh, hopefully it'll be like, you know, mid-80s tomorrow, maybe even like pushing it on 90s, depending on how, I guess, happy we are with the character. I would say something important for me to acquire would be Death's Door, because I really need strength requirements. So I could, I could drop this strength note here, get Death's Door, and then by going immune to bleed, I can remove this Mana Flask and use a Rumi's Concoction, I believe is what I wanted to use, which would be pretty cool scaling with the Flask effect. That's pretty much just like the general idea I've got as of right now. But anyway, like I said before, I'm sorry if the video is a bit rushed. I'm a bit tired. I haven't went to bed yet. And it's uh, 12, almost, tw well, it's 11.22 in the morning. So I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. The bandits for this build are just going to be, honestly, you can do kill all. But as of right now, we're a kill kill Alira. Um, and that's pretty much going to be it. Remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Anyway, I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.